Build up pattern is the second of the creational patterns that we would be discussing in here. The build up pattern separates object construction from its representation. What does that mean? I go out for a multi course dinner. There would be a lot of options which are present drinks, starters, main course, dessert, a huge number of options. And probably I would choose two or three of them. A similar kind of situations arise in software as well. You would need to build objects using two or three, I mean a subset of the ingredients which are present. Somebody might need a multi-course dinner with a drinks, starters and main course. Probably they would want to avoid the dessert. Somebody else might want a drink, he, they want to skip the starters, they would directly want to go to the main course and the dessert. So there are multiple ways people would want to organize or to have their multi-course dinners. If I'm representing this in software, then I would need to be able to create the object in multiple ways. Sometimes I would need to have only three ingredients, sometimes only two ingredients and sometimes only one. And that's where the builder pattern comes in. To understand the builder pattern further, we would look at a small piece of code. If you're not familiar with the technical details, probably you can skip this you can kind of try and understand and try and make sense of what's happening in here. The example which we are looking at right now is from our Git repository. In 28 minutes, design patterns for beginners. So you can find this example in there. You can just search for builder pattern and you'd be able to come in here. The example which we took was trying to build a coffee. If you are from India, then you'd always have coffee with milk. And if, let's say you are in you, United States, for example, most of the people prefer having coffee without milk. You'd want to be able to have multiple options of how you build your coffee up. And that's where the builder pattern comes in. If you look at this particular piece of code, what we have is a builder. To the builder, we pass in the mandatory things. So the type of the coffee that I want is mandatory. I mean, that's the basic. And after that, we add in whatever we want. So I'm building a mocha with milk. That's, I mean, I'm saying milk true. That's with milk, with no sugar and size large. And I'm building the object. And now I have my coffee ready. If somebody else wants a different flavor, they can easily build it. So now somebody else who wants coffee with milk and sugar can come and say true, dot sugar true, and size large dot build thereby you have a huge amount of flexibility in building the objects other approaches to doing this other than using a builder pattern but using things like setters have a lot of problems associated with them they result in very difficult code to read as well as they have a few problems in threading we'll not go into depth with those the builder pattern solves all those problems the important things about builder pattern are that it simplifies the creation. This, this is very simple code to read and also this is very easy for a developer to write code with. If you are interested in understanding how the builder is built, you can look at the public static class builder. You go for a builder pattern when you would want to have multiple options in creating a particular object. A builder pattern separates object construction from how it's represented and it makes it very very easy to build up thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us at in 28 minutes we defined a learning roadmap for java and front-end developers we created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen there are four things you can do to make best use of these courses Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28 Minutes. 
your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.